to my YouTube channel. I'm going to tell you about the weaknesses of uh, the top uh, five batsmen at the moment in 2020 test cricket and in the one day cricket. So I'm going to discuss today with you and I'm also going to tell you the weaknesses of uh, Fabulous Four. England. England Test Captain Joe Root is the part of the Fabulous Four comprising of Kane Williamson, Virat Kohli and Steve Smith. He has been struggling to match the rate of hundreds as they are scoring while Root is still struggling the best batsman in England when he recently proved as well with a double hundred in New Zealand. He is often guilty of not converting his starts, rather Joe Root boosts of a worse conversation rates. He is uh, the prone to lose his balance while facing incoming deliveries and tends to get out leg before Pat Cummins during 2017 and 18 Ashes found out his weaknesses in him. He set up with the series of outswingers and then later in the in the day delivered a full in swinging ball. Root played for the outswinger and was trapped in front of stumps and the pattern of similar dismissals began. All the teams across the world picked it and in the space of 18 test matches since then England test keeper had got out 9 times leg before wicket, most of them to in being in swingers. His front pad seems to stay inside the line of the ball while the bat in yet to come down. The ball comes and hits his bat. Though he has made a minor adjustment to his technique to get rid of weaknesses, there are few areas of improvement still. He hasn't become a complete batsman yet and the teams are getting him out early. Having said that, Joe Root is a brilliant batsman and will be itching to iron out his weaknesses soon. So that was the number 5. Uh, I have just explained about uh, Joe Root uh, weaknesses. Now I'm gonna tell you about, I'm gonna tell you about Babar Azam of Pakistan and his weakness is full pitched outswingers. Whenever bowlers say uh, they bowl him full pitched outswingers, he starts struggling. I'm gonna tell you how he struggles about uh, the full pitched outswingers. Babar Azam averages a staggering 54 in ODIs and playing 74 matches, but he's uh, taking time to settle down in test cricket. Though his average reads 45 after 26 test matches, it has stood up recently after a decent Australia series and then run filled home series. Babar Azam, like most of the subcontinent batsmen, likes to drive the ball on the up and for the same reason is prone to getting out of swinging deliveries. When a bowler delivers an outswinger pitching it full enough in an area 6 meters or less from his stumps, then Babar Azam struggles. According to Crickways, Babar Azam until 2018 averages only 10.42 against full deliveries in test cricket while the same average shots up to 38.44 in the 50 overs format. He is only 25 years old at the moment and must have stood areas of improvement in the batting. He has already made an adjustment in the batting which was evident in Australia recently in January 2020. Moreover, Babar Azam is definitely the next big thing in Pakistan cricket and it looks destined to lead his country in all formats of the game. Currently, he is the only leader of the 2020 team and has got number one ranking in the 2020 cricket. Now I'm going to tell you about number three batsman in the batsman in the world and according to me the number three batsman is Rohit Sharma. He gets out to in-swinging deliveries often. The best example how he got out is the semi-final of the 2019 World Cup in, in against New Zealand. The way he got out it was an in-swinging delivery and that's his weakness. I'm gonna tell you about uh, Rohit Sharma weaknesses. Rohit Sharma is one of the best modern day batsmen in the limited overs format but he it has taken him years to cement his position in test cricket he has and he was the man of the series in the in his maiden series as an opener in test against south africa last year at home however when it comes to the weaknesses rohit struggles facing in swinging deliveries 
especially against the left arm seamers to be in ODI cricket, test cricket and 2020 cricket. The likes of Mohammad Amir and Trent Bolt among other seamers have troubled Rohit Sharma many times. Even in the home series against Bangladesh, he has trapped in front of the stumps against the incoming deliveries. He tends to not move his feet more and lets his hands do all the work while playing lofted shots. However, when it, it comes to facing swinging deliveries, Rohit suffers a bit. He has foot movement, goes nowhere at times, that leaves him vulnerable and leads to him getting LBW leg before wicket and bowl. The man must have definitely worked against the flaws in his technique and would have been tested in New Zealand in test matches. But India's limited overs vice captain was injured in the final of 2020 series. I'm gonna tell you the number two according number two according to me the number two test batsman in the world right now is Virat Kohli and his weaknesses outside of stump delivery. If you remember the Champions Trophy final the way he got out twice uh, against Mohammad Amir, that was outside of stump delivery. And on first delivery, Mohammad Amir he was dropped. And then on the same delivery, exactly the same delivery outside of stump, he got out. I'm gonna tell you now that Virat Kohli is the best batsman in the world's across all formats. In ODIs, he's simply invincible, in, and it seems all in the test are set. Virat Kohli is almost impossible to get out. Give him the toughest conditions, he will come up trumps. So what is his weakness? Now that's the question. Now everyone knows he is vulnerable to the line outside of stump. James Anderson of England, he exploited it to the hilt during the India's tour of uh, England uh, 2014. Kohli himself admits that it was the lowest point of his career. But with the sheer hard work, he found an alternative to score runs in 2018 England Tour and emerged as a highest run scorer and almost 600 runs in the series where almost every other batsman struggled. Then how one would get Kohli out? Simply Virat Kohli is the most vulnerable during early part of his innings as a bowler. One has to keep bowling in the channel of uncertainty and wait for him to drive the ball. It would need to some consistent bowling in the same area like how New Zealand did in the recent series against India. Kohli faced 7, 43, 15, 30 deliveries during the four innings against Kiwis and it took sustained pressure and consistent bowling to get him out early every time. So he struggled recently in New Zealand and if you see my analysis, uh, the previous analysis uh, uh, on my previous vlogs, I did uh, uh, explain that uh, what was the reasons why India lost series in New Zealand. Now I'm gonna tell you, now I'm gonna tell you about number one batsman and that's Steve Smith. Steve Smith weaknesses short ball directed at his body. That's what exactly the Neil Wagner he did against Steve Smith. I'm gonna tell you Smith weaknesses. Steve Smith was not getting out at all in Ashes last year and we saw the way England they struggled against Steve Smith. Uh, Jofra Archer, he bowled really well against Steve Smith. He plundered runs. I'm talking about Steve Smith for fun and England tried all kind of tricks to dismiss him but all in vain. However, in the home series against New Zealand, Smith couldn't get going. No, there is no technique fault in his batting. It is well-directed short balls and his body which ruffles him up the most. Even while facing Jofra Archer in the series, Smith was vulnerable after he was hit just below the neck. In the second test against New Zealand, it was Neil Wagner who came over the weekend and kept bowling at his body to act out the pull our shot out of frustration from the batsman. It was clearly trap as a leg gully and was in the place and the deep square leg fielder was always waiting to catch to come. Wagner turned out to be Smith's uh, nemesis. In the three match series, he caught out four times in five innings. Altogether, Neil Wagner has got Steve Smith 13 times out because he knows exactly how to get Steve Smith out. So a consistent short ball, barrage 
without conceding much runs could frustrate smith and eventually a pull shot can get him out if you see my old uh, vlogs and analysis i explain that uh, steve smith uh, struggles against leg spinners and uh, that was one of the reasons when pakistan toured australia in january we all remember that uh, yasser shah he was really successful against steve smith if you like my video please share it and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much bye